Some of you who've been reading my work and following me on social media know that recently I developed a system uh, based on neurotyping. So basically, uh, establishing someone's neurological balance and psychological profile to select the best training system or training approach for that person. As I mentioned in a previous capsule, I believe that the more the training goes with your neurological profile, the better results you're going to get. First, because you're going to you're going to be you're going to like the training more, you're going to be more motivated, and the stress response will be much lower, and you will also optimize your own neurological balance, which can actually improve the quality of your life throughout the day, not just your training. Now, the first type we have, because we have five types, the first type is called type 1A. Now, type 1A, uh, we can each type we can use one word to describe them and one sentence to explain how they function. So type 1A, the word that describes them is intensity. They are intense people. They do everything all out. That's why they are thrill seekers. They, they are people who are very vocal. They take a lot of room. They tell cloud. They are competitive. They like to be the center of attention. Uh, they, they like, uh, like extreme sports, motor, motorbike racing, whatever. Uh, so intensity is what describes them. And it's the same thing in training as we will see later. Now, the one sentence that, that explains how they function is, regardless, regarding to training, is they get more muscular by becoming stronger. Right? So, so for them, doing typical like high rep, pump stuff in the gym will actually not work. They will build very little muscle from it. They will lose motivation and they will overtrain. The reason is they have a very strong neurological dominance and their muscular dominance is very, very, very low. Now, if you are neurologically dominant and you do not get that nervous system activation during training, you're just bored to death and you don't get results. And if you focus on the muscular aspect, slow tempo, squeezing. You, you're training a system that you are not good at naturally, the muscular system. And as a result, it's a lot harder to recover from it. You are a lot more likely to overtrain. That's why these guys, when training, they need to go very heavy. They need to focus on movements that have a high neurological component, big basic lifts. And if they do bodybuilding work, isolation will actually kill the performance. They cannot do a high volume of work. 35, 40 minutes of training max, all right? And they do need a bit more rest intervals, for example. Now, the type 1A is built for slow gear strength, grinding strength. Dave Tate mentioned this a while ago. He mentioned that there are two types of powerlifters. You have the strong powerlifters and you have the explosive powerlifters. Well, type 1A would be the strong powerlifters. These are the guy who will move a weight and it looks like it's gonna stop, but it still keep going and going and going. That is slow gear strength. They are naturally built for it. As such, during their training, they want to go heavy. They, they need very heavy weight. Uh, and they respond very well to slower tempo, slower eccentrics. They respond very well to heavy partials, like big partials from pins. They respond very well to lifts from a dead start. Again, starting from pins. They respond well to pause lifting, squatting, and pausing in a bottom position before standing up. These are all things they are good at. They are not good at utilizing the stretch reflex. So they will not respond well to plyometrics. Uh, they don't respond that well to balancing in the bottom of a lift. These are, uh, they don't do well on kipping pull-ups and stuff like that. And when they try to do the Olympic lifts, they will be much better from blocks than from the hang, for example, because from the hang, using the stretch reflex. So these are some cues on how to program their training. Of course, this is just an introduction. But remember, the type 1A is built for strength, is built for intensity. They can't do a lot of volume. They, they should focus mostly on big compound movements. They need a very high frequency of training, but not a lot of volume. Volume is the number one reason why they fail in training and they crash. It's better to train twice 20 minutes in a day 
then try, try to train an hour. Like 40 minutes is the max, max, max they should do.